welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a fall makeup tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye. Hello. So the first color that I'm going to start with is called Frappe by Makeup Geek and I'm going to place that color all over my lid. Now for the star of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Morocco by Makeup Geek. Now this is a really bright orangey, warm orangey color and we're going to place this on our crease and then slightly move it up a little bit above the crease. Don't be scared, just go ahead and darken your eyes with this orange color. The next color I'm using is from the palette uh, 350, Morphe palette 350, and it's a brown, like a chocolatey brown color, so if whatever chocolate brown color you have, you may use it. It doesn't have to be specifically the Morphe palette. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my top um, eyelid, and I'm using a eyeliner from L'Oreal. And what I wanted to do was just create a smoked out wing, but you'll notice that I kind of ruined it as soon as I put the sparkly color. So I'll fix it by actually lining it with a liquid liner. So this next color I'm using is also from the same palette, the, three, the Morphe 350 palette. And it's the sparkly shimmery color. It's like a white pearl, like white pinkish pearl color and I'm using my fingers because it goes on way better with your fingers instead of a brush. So I'm going to apply that on my lid Then, as you can see I messed up the liner there, kind of went over it. So then what I did later is I applied um, the liquid liner which I did not want to do in the first place but whatever. It worked out just fine. I'm going to use the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I'm going to apply those and then I will be applying some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and it is really, really nice. I'm applying the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer all over my skin. Um, it leaves a very glowy base as you can tell in, on camera and it has been one of my favorite primers. The next thing I'm using is the Professional Pore Filler Primer just in the center of my face where I have mm, the largest pores. And now I'm mixing the Urban Decay Foundation and Born This Way Foundation. I will leave all the information down below so you guys can get those products and I'm going to apply this all over my skin and I'm using the IT Cosmetics foundation brush I'll leave that down below as well I'm going to just blend this all over my skin and then with a beauty sponge I'm going to blend it even more so there's no harsh lines and on to my favorite favorite concealer is Tarte Shape Tape. The color is light medium and I'm going to apply this under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and I'm going to blend this out with a beauty sponge. You guys, if you haven't tried this concealer, please do yourself a favor and get this concealer. It is amazing. Now on to the setting powder, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to jump into contour, I'm using the Shade and Light palette, the first color in that palette. I'm going to apply this on the cheekbones, on the hollows of my cheeks and just blend it away with a, an angled brush. And 
to warm up my face, I'm using Give Me Sun by MAC. It's a orangey bronzer and I'm using a Morphe brush. I'll leave everything down below, like I said. I'm going to apply this in the same areas where I contoured, so uh, the face and the forehead. Now the next thing I'll be using is the Sonia Kashuk um, bronzer. This has like a like sparkle in it and I really like it and it really gives you that bronzed look. The next thing I'm using is a, bl the <laughs> a blush. I use a mixture of blushes from MAC so I'll leave that down below. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with the Becca Champagne Pop on the cheekbones. Did I already say that? I probably did. Alright, so for our eyes, we're using the same colors we used on top, so everything is exactly the same. I even used the L'Oreal eyeliner just to give it some more uh, definition, just to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. So everything is like exactly the same using just an angled brush from Morphe. guys so I am almost done here with this look I will be leaving the lip colors down below and even the gloss color that you guys will see in the picture thank you so much for watching my tutorial please give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments and I will see you guys on my next one bye